In this tutorial, we'll be looking at trade data. Uh, we would like to find out um, what are the top exports for the, our country and where we can find that data and how we can graph that to see any trends. Uh, the data for exports and in, in imports from the UN database, um, when we go to the home page, uh, we can look in databases and if we scroll all the way down, uh, we'll find the trade database, Commodity Trade Statistics Database, and we'll select this. And it's the top database in the list that we've been using so far. We've been using FAO data, and you've used some of these other uh, databases. We're using the top one, Commodity Trade Statistics Database. Let's take a look at it. We'll open it up. And this has a list. Uh, it's bre breaking um, products down into categories. Uh, the top category, for example, let's take a look at uh, fish. Here we can see live animals, meats, fish, dairy products, uh, trees, coffee, cereals. There's a whole variety. All, every product uh, falls under one of these categories. Here we can see the list goes down to uh, up to 99 groups. Uh, there's less than that. Notice there's not a 98 and so forth. There's some gaps, but this is the first code. The first two numbers are the higher order of the code. We can drill down, for example, if we look at this 03 code, uh, let's take a look at the data. And this is broken down even further. We notice that each one of these um, products, if we look at Afghanistan or Albania, we can look at the fish that have been either imported or exported. Here we can see trout, carp, fish live, except trout, eel, carp, and so forth. And each one of these subcategories is broken down. We'll notice it starts with a 0, 3, which is the main heading. Uh, and then it goes into a subheading. For example, here's a 0, 2, here's a 0, 1, uh, and so forth. Um, and then that group is even broken down further into another two-digit code. And we can see there's um, basically three codes here, the major code and the two subcodes. Okay, so we would like to be able to collect data on this and, and graph it for ours. Now, what we'll need to do first is if we take a look at the columns, if we say select columns and add our uh, area code and update, this country code over here is, is not one that we have already collected. So we need to actually download another spreadsheet in order to include these country codes into our database. Uh, so let's take a look and see how we can do that first. Uh, if we go to the uh, syllabus and we go down on the list, here we have the section for UN Calm Trade. And uh, what we'd like to do is download these country codes. So we're going to use the UN Calm Trade Reference Tables link. We'll click on this. This page has um, metadata for the database. It gives us the codes that um, Comtrade uses to signify if something's an import or export or re-exports and so forth. Uh, also the units quantity. And as we scroll down, we're going to find out there's a UN Comtrade country list XLS. This is an Excel spreadsheet. And this is the one we'd like to download to, to get the new list of country codes. So I'll click on this. And we'll save the file. Say OK. And this will go into your downloads folder. Uh, if you're using Firefox, you'll have this downloads window. What I generally do is I will right click on the file and say show in Finder. And this will then take you right to that file. What we'd like to do is then add this file. Uh, to our folder, our, our culture folder. So I'll go ahead and right click and say copy. And I'll move this over to uh, my documents, my culture folder, and we'll paste it in here. Paste item. And let's open this up. So we'll open this up with OpenOffice Calc. Um, in order to process this data. We can also open it up in a, uh, Microsoft, but right now we've been using open, open Office, so we'll go ahead and uh, continue with that. Do a spreadsheet. 
and here we'll say file open and we'll go to our let's open up the UN file and here we'll see this file opens up and I'll open these headings a little bit so we can see what's in here and it looks very similar to some of the other data files we've brought in we'll notice country names uh, we'll be able to clean up some of this data here we have the codes for the countries here these are the, the codes we're going to need these will be important we have the English name uh, we have the full English name we have the abbreviation um, and we also have, which will be important, we have the ISO 2 and the ISO 3 codes. We'll need these uh, to tie our database together, to match our countries and be able to pick out these uh, codes. So let's, first of all, we'll clean up a little bit. We won't need the valid year, these codes. We can toss these out. So I'll select these, uh, say edit and delete cells. You can also use the keyboard, keyboard command, uh, command minus and that will toss those out. Um, we won't need the comments, so we'll go ahead and I'll use the command minus to toss those out. And let's go ahead and we'll use one of these. Let's go ahead and we'll just use one of the names. We won't need all of these, so we'll so, uh, delete the C and the D columns. And I'll do a command minus. And now let's clean up our headings so the first column will, will be called com trade and we'll call it com trade code uh, let's call it com trade ID so we'll use ID because we've been using ID and some of the other ones for the uh, this name let's call it country remember we don't want any spaces in the name and also this will match up with what we've been using so far we can simplify this one We'll just call it ISO 2, and we'll clean this one up. We'll call this one ISO 3. Okay, so now let's see. Let's just take a look down. If we have any extra junk on the bottom, we need to clean up. Looks okay. Uh, one thing you may notice is if we look at the data, some of these fields have null entries. We can see it's written null. Null is used to signify that there is no code for that. And we actually like to clean these out. Uh, because they're repeated, um, that can confuse the database if it sees the same thing over and over. It should have just one entry, uh, unique entry per column. So how do we clean those up? Let's go back up to the top. I'm going to select, click into this column, and I'll sort A to Z. I'm doing this in the ISO2 column. We'll scroll down. And what this will do, we'll group all of those null entries together. It's going to put them alphabetically. And what we'll do is we're just going to delete these entries. We're not going to delete the whole record, but we want to get rid of the nulls. So I'll select the top null, hold the shift key, select the bottom one, and now uh, push the delete key, and we'll just say OK. What that does is it just leaves those blank. Now, we'll also do that same thing in the ISO 3 column to get rid of the nulls there. So I'll scroll to the top, click into the ISO 3 column, we'll sort this A to Z. We can scroll down. And here this will also then group all the nulls together. I'll select the top null, go down, hold the shift key, and then push delete and say OK. And now we've basically cleaned those out. If there's not an entry, we'll just leave it blank. That'll be fine. Now let's take this data and put it into our culture spreadsheet and then we'll move it into our culture database. So when we do that, we'll select everything, command C, and now let's open up our uh, uh, spreadsheet. We'll say file open and we'll open up our culture ODS. <coughs> this is where we've been saving all of our different codes and we'll add a new sheet. So I'll say insert sheet and we'll call it com trade codes and we'll say OK. And then let's just paste those codes in command V and now we have those in in our whole sheet. So we'll go ahead and say save. 
next step will be to take these codes and bring these into our database. So let's go ahead and select them, Command C, and let's open up um, our database. So we'll open up our culture ODB. and go to the tables and let's add this information into our database. So we'll right click, say paste and let's call this column train codes and say next. <coughs> We'd like all of these codes so we'll go ahead and move everything over. Say next. Uh, the ComTrade ID, this will be an integer. Uh, we can go ahead and select the field type, select integer. This should be required. We'll say yes. The country will be the country name uh, that should exist. So yes, we'll also say that's required. The ISO2 and ISO3. ISO2 will have three characters. Or, I'm sorry, two characters. And we're not going to make that required because if you remember, we had some blanks. We had a number of blanks, so we might not have an ISO2 code for each one of our data pieces. Let's, the ISO3 should have just three. Select that. And these are text fields. And now we'll go ahead and say create. We won't create a primary key, we'll just say no. And now we have, we've moved those into our database as a table. Okay, so we have our com. Uh, Comtrade ID, country ISO3, ISO2, ISO3. Okay, we have one other piece to do now with those codes. We would like to add those codes to our country region query. Let's go to the query section. And we'll need to modify the query region country uh, query right here. Let's right click on that and we'll say edit. Now we'll need to add our uh, com trade codes and we're going to have to match those up. The only way we can match those up is through either the ISO2 or ISO3 which is in this table. So we're going to create a little space here, move these over and we'll add now our new table, say add table and add the com trade codes. And say close. Okay so let's go ahead I'll move this over here and we're going to match, in this case we had we and in this case, we're going to match ISO 3 with ISO 3. I happen to know we just have more of these records, so we'll try to match up the one that has more records. ISO 3 to ISO 3. And now these tables are tied together. Let's just add our ComTrade code at the end. Yeah, uh, ComTrade ID. So if we double click on this, this will now be added to our list. Here's our ComTrade ID and now we'll be able to use this in any of our queries. Let's do a quick look to see if that shows up. So let's enter a region. A region. So for example, uh, let's say we're doing the Mediterranean. I'll say OK. And if we look across, we'll find out that, there we go, we have our call trade code for the Mediterranean countries. So here's where Albania is 8, Algeria is 12, and so forth. Okay, so that's getting set up to bring in our trade data. Uh, we'll stop at this point. I'll have another tutorial for actually bringing in trade data and then generating a report on that. Go ahead and get started, and we'll see you in the next video.